Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so let's get right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020 in regards to your love and romance. Now the card that is representing your partner at the present is the Ten of Wands. The current influence or obstacle to overcome is the five of cups and the card that represents you is the queen of wands wow so we have a lot of um fire energy now the ten of wands could represent for some of you guys you guys are going through a situation where there is a lot of stress or a lot of anxiety worry in regards to this connection or this relationship it also signifies uh, coming to the conclusion now we do have here the five of cups so the five of cups does uh correspond with that of feeling for some of you guys it could be a feeling of like you've given up or there is a feeling of wanting to give up in regards to love and romance now this could be in connection with some of you guys uh what spirit is saying is that if you feel that the past few years for those of you guys that are currently single if you feel that at some point throughout this time you haven't been able to find a person that is ideal for you or you haven't found a connection a deep connection what they're telling you here is not to give up the ten of wands does culminate there is an ending to either your singlehood or the feeling of not being able to progress in regards to love and romance, not being able to experience new experiences or new people in your life. Now, the Five of Cups does correlate with the feeling of emotional heaviness, emotional turmoil, uh, looking towards the past or perhaps even feeling like you've lost the appetite for love you've lost interest you are more uh for some of you guys with the ten of wands you're more concerned about growing about either stabilizing your finances or growing in your career it's like your energy is scattered towards other things but i feel that the reason for that has more to do with the fact of feeling unfulfilled emotionally unfulfilled now Again, what they're saying here is that you're at the culmination of this. There is an ending cycle for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while now. And what Spirit is uh, saying here is that you need to stop living in the past or looking towards the past. Um, for some of you guys, it could even be dealing with the same person that you've been dealing with, with for a while. And it's almost like a never-ending cycle where you continuously keep putting yourself in a position of not knowing where you stand with this person. So what they're telling you here is that you need to end this cycle. It's time to release anything that is not serving you in order for you to be able to experience new beginnings. Now, they're also saying stop idolizing a certain situation that happened in the past so for some of you guys it could be remorse or regret feeling like you've let a specific person go because of circumstance or because of situations and what spirit is here to tell you is that what's for you taurus is going to be for you it's not going to pass you by so stop looking towards the past like that was the best thing that ever happened to you. For some of you guys, it was the worst thing that could have happened to you. But it's time to release that energy and it's time to move on. It's time to embrace new beginnings. Now, you do have here the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands could represent fire energy. It could be an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, but I see it more as the energy of the Queen of Wands. And what spirit is telling you is you need to believe in yourself you need to have faith and trust in yourself and faith and trust in the decisions that you make and being okay with making do those decisions the queen of wands is all about trusting yourself being confident in yourself and in your own skin but it also indicates being co uh, confident enough to make the decisions that are right for you so what they're saying is it's time to make a decision do you want to continue on this path where you've been up until now 
or do you want to experience a new beginning? And with that new beginning, it is asking you to take action. So what is it that you're going to do? Are you going to, for some of you guys, dealing with a situation or a specific person that is not making you emotionally fulfilled or happy, are you going to continuously keep choosing to stay there and stay at standstill and want to, you know, want to blame the universe or God or spirit for being in that situation? But ultimately what they're telling you is, no, there's opportunities there. Whether you see them or not, it is up to you to take action, to walk towards them or to walk towards a new beginning. So what is it that you're doing that is that is changing this type of energy? The Queen of Wands also represents a new energy coming towards you. Um, the passion being reignited within you to believe in yourself. But here's the thing. I feel for some of you guys, a person that's coming towards you that could be of a fire energy or it could just be a new energy. I feel that for some of you guys, what they're saying here is that this person is going to bring you a lot of healing, but also uh, e even a reflection of being more confident in yourself. So I feel that they're going to boost your confidence. But why wait till that person comes towards you? It's time to start working on yourself, Taurus. Only then will you be able to embrace that fully, that connection. Now I'm going to be pulling out a specific card. This is a card that Spirit wants to um, communicate to you. Let's see, Spirit, what is the direct message you want to show or share with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation for the month of July 2020? Love and Romance, Spirit. What are the messages? All right, and your card is Star Seed. So this card represents the higher self, connecting with oneself connecting with your your consciousness connecting with your subconsciousness and understanding for some of you guys it could be that you've been dealing with a specific person for a very long time and you know in the bottom of your heart that this is not going to work out yet you're choosing to remain at standstill starseed is knowing the power that you have within yourself we have all we have all of the tools in ourselves it's not about finding a person that is right it's not about finding someone that is going to make you complete or make you happy it starts from within finding that in yourself will only correlate with you bringing or attracting towards you that same type of energy okay my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye